I'm back now from Travel Today and we are talking about an activity that if you've done it, uh, you need to do it again. And if you've never done it, if you've never been there, it must be on your bucket list. What on earth are we talking about? <laughs> I'm taking you today to beautiful central Otago, checking out one of this country's ultimate must-dos. Have a look. Get any clues what we're doing today? Today we're cycling New Zealand's original rail trail. She Bikes, He Bikes is conveniently based at Old Clyde Railway Station. Once you have your safety gear, you're off. Yeah, we've got a, um, a fleet of bikes, half of them are what we call comfort bikes, so more upright with sprung seats and really comfortable to ride, and the other half are normal um, flat handlebar bent forward mountain bikes. And we've also got electric bikes, tandems, kids bikes, trailers, in fact, and tag-alongs where you can cater for anybody. We set off from Clyde, getting used to our bikes. Once past Alexandra, the landscape becomes rolling green hills where some of the world's finest merino sheep graze. The track is wide enough for two abreast, easier to chat that way. The steepest gradient on the trail is 2%, so it's a really comfortable ride. About 14,000 people do the trail end to end each year or more, but 30,000 people approximately do sections of the trail, and the most popular part is the Pulburn Gorge section. If you flip a $20 note over, you'll see the native falcon, the Carrera, and that's where it nests. The entire trail will take most around four or five days. Choose the section we're doing Clyde to Lauder. Farmland soon becomes rockier. That unique central Otago schist litters the fields. Then the trail crosses the Manuherekia River and you kind of feel the need to pause and appreciate. We're looking back to Old Man Range and the low cloud doesn't spoil the view. The trail follows the river and passes through the old Tucker Hill gold diggings. There are more than 24 pubs and cafes on the 150 kilometre rail trail. Oh, here's one now. Time for a drink. Woohoo! Let's go. The rail trail couldn't be a better business. Uh, they're great people, anyone who's pushing a bike's a nice person. Leslie's had this 130 year old pub since 1999 and she's obviously doing something right by offering genuine southern hospitality. Well I think I live in paradise and I think as long as you uh, enjoy what you're doing it, that reflects on the rest of the community and the business as well. In 2013, we were lucky enough to win the best country hotel in New Zealand. We were runner-up in 2014. And this year, the commercial hotel in Omakau has become the best country hotel. Well, we need to check out New Zealand's best country pub. If you've hired an e-bike, you won't be out of breath when you arrive in Omakau. The box on the front of the bike, the only clue it's been silently helping me along. Winning the award for Best Country Pub came as a surprise to the owners. It was the first time they'd entered. Um, we actually asked our locals a lot about uh, what we do well, and that was quite good. Uh, things that we took for granted, I suppose, like if someone was sick and they'd phone up for a meal, we'd go and drop it down, or and just and just being part of the community. It's been really surprising. The awards were on the Thursday night, um, and the paper on the Friday. On the Saturday, we had people over from Wanaka. That just would be a nice drive. Come and have a look at the Best Country Hotel, and been really amazed actually. Omakau Commercial Hotel dates back to 1898. Stacey's modernised in the last 10 years while honouring the original features. There's even a rustic conference room out back. Look familiar? Good on you, mate. Yep, that Spates ad was filmed here. The old Omakau railway station was built in 1904 and was once one of the busiest stock loading stations in New Zealand. From here, it's a gentle 7k pedal to the town of Lauder, enjoying the countryside and the company. Wow, 
what a great way to spend the day yes. cycling through the beautiful central Otago countryside. Yeah, it was amazing. I must say a big thank you to Oliver Hayes who, who took the footage, the aerial footage that you saw in that segment. Just stunning of the Otago Rail Trail there. Now, Carol, who is hosting us on She Bikes, He Bikes, she was saying some of the best conversations she has with her children are when they're cycling side by side on the rail trail. She says it's just fabulous. And if you go to their website, they have heaps of ideas, uh, different things you can do on the itinerary. They can help you organise your trip. They can help you uh, tell you where to stay. There are day trip, multi-day options, and they'll even get your luggage from A to B as well, so you can just relax and enjoy the day. That looks awesome. And I love, I just think it looks like such a great thing to do. It's definitely on my bucket list to do with the family. Yes. And I really liked the look of that e-bike that you're on as well. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Nobody even knew when I was using it, because they're silent. And I didn't know that I wanted an e-bike until I used that e-bike. It was brilliant. So if you don't do much biking or if you have an injury or something like that, then use an e-bike. It was brilliant. And if you've got kids as well, I must mention there are heaps of options for the kids. There are things like the toddler trailer, the tow bars, and there's even a tandem bike that you can use as oh, well. So sounds awesome. easy for the whole family. I'm Definitely going to do that with the Good. family. A really great travel tips, Debbie, as always. And if you are organising a trip to Central Otago, check out their website. Thank you so much, Debbie. We will see you next week.